Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome to No Pineapple Left Behind, the game about educating pineapples. Yes. So let's go through the tutorial, this one I've not played before, but it's such a fascinating idea I really just can't bloody resist. So Midvale School for the Gifted, learn the basics, learn how to be the effective administrator of a pineapple school. In this school, some children are pineapples, pineapple symbol, and some children are children, children symbol. Pineapples can turn into children and vice versa. Pineapples only take tests and get grades. Children are complicated and want to do other- oh, well then presumably we want nothing but pineapples. Excellent. Okay, that's all basic camera controls and we can get- ooh, we can get right up to the front there. Midvale School for the Gifted. Gifted pineapples. Gifted, gifted pineapples. Alright, control time and unpause. Okay, so who exactly are you? You are Mrs. Chatrick and- oh, <laughs> it's actually it's pineapples. Click a pineapple, okay? I'm going to click this pineapple. Hello, pineapple. So pineapples have grades and humanity. When they have 100 humanity, they turn into children. Okay, so humanity, close the panel. And meanwhile, we need to click a child. Well, ch the children are way more... <laughs> oh, the ch there is actually, this is co-educational. Children and pineapples are both uh, educated together, okay? Hey. Now, children are complicated. In addition to having grades and humanity stats, they have traits and quests which modify their behaviour and distract them from getting better grades. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why can't you just be more like the pineapples? The pineapples that sit here and get good grades. So this is... Uh, Kelra Alawai... Kel. This is Kel. Uh, she wants a new friend. If she succeeds, she gets plus five humanity for both the... Ch oh, no. Don't you dare give humanity to my pineapples. And if she fails, she loses 10 humanity. Okay, and then risks turning into a pineapple. So children who aren't socially successful just turn to pineapples because they get depressed. Was this an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? So this girl is bisexual, so she's more likely to be teased and is more likely to accept a new friend if they are gay or bisexual themselves, attracted to boys and girls. Fruity, way more likely to be teased. Uh, and is also attracted to- wow. This girl will swing literally every way going, including into the tropical fruit. Uh, she is funny, more likely to tell jokes. Slow, will only walk to class and weak. Well, this girl is- this girl is going to be bullied a lot, unfortunately, due to the fact that she's bisexual, fruit sexual, and weak. But she does have multiple friends. Okay. Oh, blimey. Yes, children are indeed complicated. Fine. So that's how pineapples and children work. Now, what about teachers? A teacher's lesson plan is actually a magical spell. Well, this is a math classroom, so I guess we could say she's a math magician. Excellent. A magical spell. Each spell modifies a student's grades and humanity. So your teacher is currently prepared to cast a televisor spell. The spell does almost nothing good, but it does nothing bad either. It's best used when a teacher is tired. Okay, so put the television on and don't bother teaching. Makes sense. Switch your teacher's spell to the more advanced memorizer spell. Okay. So spells auto cast at the start of class. Wait until block A. All right. We've moved over to that, but she doesn't have enough experience to do any of the better spells yet. And there she goes. Oh, the children panic and walk out for no well explained reason. And the grade was apparently D plus. Pineapples, I had faith in you. The children pile out, the school bus disappears, and that was apparently the end of the day, because she's our only flipping teacher. Alright, fine. Teacher arrives at the beginning of Tuesday, as do all the students and the pineapples. So your teacher gains experience points, spend the teacher's XP to unlock quantification. Ah! She got enough XP yesterday to unlock quantification, which makes her more tired, but a much better teacher. Okay, let's see how well quantification works. The pineapples immediately take their seats. The bloody school children don't because they're busy doing children things. Like, not socialising. Wants to fight with Shanda. Wants to ask out Shanda. Oh, you two are going to come to blows. Which one are you, Shanda? There's Shanda. Wants to act out Freddy. Oh, no. Wait, hang on. Shanda, male, is straight but wants to ask out Freddy. I'm getting, I'm getting mixed messages from you. I think Shanda might be a little bit confused about his own sexuality there. 
Oh, the quantification spell failed, and that means the students lost grades and gained humanity. I see, so when teachers are successful, grades go up, but humanity goes down, meaning children are becoming more and more like pineapples, good, good little pineapples, whereas if teachers fail, they become more human, i.e. pineapples are more likely to become ruly and start wanting to fight and make out and have free will and me, 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 and their grades obviously go down. And the spells fail when teachers have low energy, which is what a good television day is for. Oh, she's... What the blood? What did she just do? What was that even an attempt to do? Well, she attempted to cast a magic murder spell on all of them, but it didn't seem to work. Fine. So as a result, we should probably change back to the televisor spell today just to get this woman's energy back up. Fine. Pineapples, you will take your places. Children bloody mosey around making emojis at each other. God, I hate children and love pineapples. So we've got boring stats or fun stats. I'm going to go for fun stats. Most popular child was Hilla Ood, and the most bullied child was Poralette. Poralette, Jackie on. She should have just stayed as an Eevee. Children turn to pineapple zero. Pineapples turn to children zero. So in other words, everyone being a pineapple is the best way to get a school running, but I'm guessing that children have certain advantages too. So, little... Oh, blimey, every single region has a massive bit of flavour text to it. Lovely. Most pineapples lived in rented squalid tenements in what became as Little Catalupia. In 2001, the federal government passed the No Pineapple Left Behind Act. The subsequent pineapple initiative orchestrated by the Voigt-Yolani Corporation fundamentally shifted the demographics of New Bologna by replacing children with fruit. And a good thing it was too. Ah, now we've got a bit of a more complex thing going on here. So no teachers, open the hiring panel. Uh, I'm guessing that's just down here with the no teachers. So I've got multiple teachers, all of them start with 90 energy, all of them cost $40 to hire and $400 a day. Um, math is the only subject we're actually teaching right now. So although the click here is over this person, the arrow is pointing over here, so I'm guessing this particular person. So hire at least one teacher per subject. Ooh! So we've hired one person for math, but we've also got to teach Cantalupian, the language of the pineapples. But I'm guessing we also teach like pineapple literature, like oranges are not the only fruit, because there's also pineapples. Who do I want? Do I want... I'm going to hire Mrs. Dorshin. I wonder if any of these are actually pineapples. No, they're both people. They're both actually people. So we've now got a maths teacher and a Cantalupian teacher. And then we've got to open up the budget panel to have a look-see about money. So better grades means better money. Ah, if teachers fail and all the students get Fs, that means we lose more money. We've got to therefore have students getting good grades. And that means we want pineapples. Got it. And that means both of these guys' spells need to be changed to Memorizer. Ah, because these guys have a ridiculously large amount of energy because they're freshly hired, they don't need to do the bloody television. They can go straight into uh, the spells for Memorizer. Which will be good, because yes, they're all actually fine. The pineapples know where to go. I like them, look at them. Look at the little pineapples, I love them. They're so cute. And then, no, no, you, you, you go on to class. You, what the hell's your deal? Uh, wants a new friend. Well, maybe you don't deserve a friend. Maybe you should be a pineapple instead. Oh, she wanted that pineapple to be her friend, but it didn't work out there. You suck, says that person. Wants to fight with Jerlin, someone's success. Worst friends with Jerlin. Yes, I guess you would be worst friends with Jerlin if you started to fight with them. Excellent. So everyone, everyone in you... Children! I hate children. So, the school day begins. These guys actually do pretty well. That's a grade C and a grade C+. Plus. Well done, Mrs. Dorshin. I will be giving you a promotion if you keep getting that darn C+. Plus. So your teachers successfully cast their spells and gain 1 XP each. Fine. But we still lost money because the teachers need to be paid. So school grades was plus $360, but the teacher's salaries were $880. Could potentially we simply get the best quality pineapple to teach the other students? Your teacher's salaries are too high. Yes, that seems like a good way that we can save money. Um, so all we need to do is... Ah, the amount they're paid uh, changes how much energy they restore overnight. Fine. Uh, so all we need to do is change slash both of your teacher's salaries to $80... Perfect. And a C and another C. Even though I'm not paying them very much, regardless, their energy is currently very high, so they've got good success rates. Perfect. Because you slashed your teacher's salaries yesterday, they did not recharge a lot of energy today. Fire them and just get new ones in. <laughs> All right. This seems like an excellent idea. Yeah. Fire them. Excellent. Now we just bring in brand new teachers. Uh, wait, how much, how, wait, how much are we paying those guys? We better be paying them not very much. 
There we go. I think we can just do exactly the same thing again. We can just pay them very, very little. Perfect. Let's see how our brand new teachers do in maths and cantaloupian. C minus and D plus. What the hell? Oh, wait, hang on. I think I might have... Oh, I think I forgot to bloody set their... Uh, I think I forgot to actually change their spell to something good. Yes, memorizer. Darn it. Oh, you. Where's the teacher? Let's get some more memorizing going on here. I want all of your grades up. Sorry, I completely forgot to actually change the new teacher's spells. They just put on the television and just got the hell on with it. All right, everyone back into your things. All right. And this time he actually does some... Oh, he does some magic language and she's doing some magic numbers. Hopefully that'll get, they'll get the grades up a little bit here. C minus and C minus. Well, that should still be enough to make a good profit for today. And that means we should lose no money two days in a row. And that was like, the only criteria. This is still pretty much just training. I'm guessing this is my office. I like my office. This is where I live. Excellent. And the school bus has left. We kind of do a pit. Oh, good. No, good. The school bus came back to pick up the remaining three pineapples and that one child. Do not lose money for two days. You win. Hooray. Okay, South Bologna, we need to make a thousand dollars. Well, that doesn't seem like that should be too hard. All we need to do is just keep kind of stripping our teacher salaries to the bone, firing them whenever they get tired, bring in new ones, and make sure everyone stays a pineapple. So, we're going to need ourselves some teachers. Let's just pause time for a second and bring in some teachers for... Ooh, just English and maths. We're not teaching Cantalupian today. All right, fine. Influence is a special currency. You gain one influence per day. Right now, you have three influence. All right, in this scenario, you can hire special faculty. You can have one of each. They each cost minus one influence and have unique powers. Open the special faculty. Okay, ah, a vice principal. Oh, but he costs loads of money. Why on earth would I want to do such a thing? A vice principal, right click a student to hack their brain and make them go to class. They seem to be pretty good at going to class by themselves, but... All right, fine, we'll do that. Unlike other... Oh, no, that's not my office. That's bloody her office. Oh, I don't like that anymore. Unlike other people in fruit, you can actually tell a vice principal where to go by left-clicking the right vice principal and right-clicking the destination. Do that now, okay? We'll just make her go into this here hallway. That's fine. Everyone goes nice and slowly. And right-click a nearby child to hack their brain. Hack this child. Oh, she actually does it with flipping... Psychic powers and laser beams. Excellent. Now the child will stop wasting time and go to class. Okay. Excellent. And then I can't do it again straight away. Uh, ah, screw it. See if you can hack brains. Oi. Whatever you're doing, there's no, there's nothing in that corner. Dzz, lovely. Get to class. You are a learning machine. And you. And then presumably this makes the grades much better because they're not all just kind of lollygagging around. And then we just... <laughs> I love the fact the principal just has mysterious, unexplained psychic powers. Oi. No. And no. And also you. There we, oi. Oi. Get him. Get him. Get him with your mind blast. There we are. Psychic power mind blast. Now they're all in class. Perfect. Oh, wait. Hang on. Pause before class begins. Change the... Change laser. So we can change the um, the spell and the laser. Okay, well, I guess we're going to get to lasers in a second. Uh, obviously, we're going to change these guys over to memorizer because we need to get the grades up as fast as possible. Change spell to memorizer. Well, you don't have the experience to learn iambic cynic doke. All right, we'll get you on to some iambic pentameters or something later. And you're the math teacher. We already know the names of your spells. Trigonomancy. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and then you can now just go back to your office because you're no longer required. Oh, one of your teachers has enough XP to learn a new laser. But wouldn't we potentially want to just kind of get them up to the next spell rather than the next laser? But what is a laser? Um, the unfriend and Nova is very useful in this scenario for improving grades and making money. Learn the unfriend and Nova. Unfriend and Nova um, ends a friendship but means they get plus two grades. Ooh. And if you end a friendship, then that will reduce their happiness. And if they've reduced their happiness, then they're more likely to become pineapples. And pineapples simply sit there and get good grades. Excellent. So the default one is negatory laser, ends a child's quest and swaps it for a new quest. Well, okay, but then I'm guessing there's going to be kind of loads of different quests that may or may not be good. So you may or may not want to do that. Uh, cheating bolt. Ooh. 
66% chance of getting plus 10 to grades, however, 33% chance of losing $500, because presumably you get caught and fined. Or anti-teasing wave, removed a tease trait, plus two humanity. No, 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 no. The last thing we want is my pineapples, my beloved pineapples becoming children. Uh, okay, fine, let's go to unfriend a Nova. I don't think the others can be unlocked yet anyway. Actually, no, because I just spent his XP doing that. All right, fine. So spells automatically happen every class to affect every student. Lasers affect only a single student. You must decide when to use them. So ends a friendship for plus two grades. So therefore, if I were to pick a child, so for example, this child at the back here is friends with Stay and Vincello, and that means as a result, they have minus three grades because they're, you know, talking to their friends and having fun rather than actually just sitting there and bloody learning. So, is it all friendships, or is it a single friendship that that friend ends a friendship? So, I'm not sure if I can even choose which friendship it is. So, are any of these friendships worse than any of the others? No, it doesn't seem like it, to be honest. So, that means this person back in the back corner here, I want to use my laser on that person. So, let's just slow down time here. There we are. Zapped them. No friends. Their grades improve. C and C. Okay. We've also got the Pineapple Ray, minus 10 humanity. That's a good sort of a thing. So you're the one who's already got that. Yeah, Pineapple Ray, that could be very, very useful. But the other teacher, the other teacher can still potentially learn something. So vice principals are expensive. Consider firing your vice principal and hiring a new one tomorrow so you don't need to pay them. Ooh, but that costs me influence, so I can't do that that easily. And then if we just hire her, and now we fire her and get rid of her. Lovely. And also, don't forget that we need to massively reduce how much we're paying all of our teachers. Lovely. There we are. Actually, would it be just better if we just straight up fired both of our teachers at this point? We can just hire new ones tomorrow anyway. So yeah, let's just fire all the teachers. That's got to be for the best. Lovely. So now we just, all the teachers are fired. Presumably we won't actually have to pay anyone today, but the children still got their grades as my teachers disappear into sand. And that means I make $240 today. So... Tuesday rocks around and we now have no teachers and no vice principal. Okay, so teachers bring in some new teachers. We may as well just hire the best ones because we're not going to pay them anyway. We're just going to fire them at the end of the day because we've just decided mysteriously they're terrible. Uh, so we've hired both of you. Now the teachers. The teachers, obviously, we don't even need to bother changing their energy levels. We can simply kind of change their spells straight away to memorizer. But this, of course, means that they can't get up to the higher... Yeah, the higher things. That's the problem with firing teachers every single day. Maybe we should see if we can just get them a little bit higher up to the kind of the higher levels of spells before we fire them. Yeah, we could just completely burn them out and then get them up to the higher spells. Get one successful higher spell out of them and then fire them, which would be great. Ooh, 30 grades. That's so much better than Memorizer. But all right, let's move both the teachers over to Memorizer for now. Do they have access to the same lasers as before? Yes, they do, but they can't use any of them just yet. Okay. And they just start off, basically, with yeah, the negatory laser, where they can, if there's a bad quest, they can sort that out. That's okay. And I'll hold off hiring a vice principal, because I'm going to kind of see if influence does anything else. Because I do appear to have influence, so I'm not sure what it actually does. So I'm going to hold on to it for now and not use it just yet. Teachers move to their classrooms, that's absolutely fine. Class apparently begins at 7am, which strikes me as more than a little bit harsh, but okay. The children just kind of bumming around, not doing... Actually, they seem to make it to class pretty well by themselves, apart from that girl who decided to go to the bathroom just before class begins. So we've got a... We've got supposedly a double success there, but you've got a flipping D+. Plus. What the hell? So not desperately a good day there, D+, plus from this teacher. Not particularly promising at all, but all right. Let's see what we can do to fix you up here. Let's go for a double cheating day. I'm gonna. This teacher doesn't seem very good, so I'm going to give her a cheating thing, and we'll see what she can do. And he can have the unfriend and no, but get rid of a friend who's distracting these bloody students, and instead, yes, get them straight on to uh, working harder at school. Perfect. Okay, now, let's figure out who she's going to use the cheaty laser on here. Um, any student with a poor score will do. Yeah, you're bloody dreadful. Use that on you. There we are. That was a success, so she's going to be much better. 
Although again, only a D plus. Only a D plus. Not a particularly impressive day there, guys. I feel like you are definitely going to get yourself fired at this point. And you are going to get yourself a massive reduction in uh, salary. But I will at least keep you on. So consider yourself bloody lucky. So yesterday it would appear that we lost money on account of the fact that our new teacher was so terrible. Okay, well we need to hire a new... Uh, ah! Mr. Brula. You can be hired and then we'll immediately kind of change uh, everything you do. There you are, there's Mr. Brula. We'll change your spell over to Memorizer. We'll kind of guess get your uh, health up a little bit there. Actually, in theory, if we just don't use the laser... Reduce his, um, yeah, kind of reduce his cost to $100 a day so he gets 10 back. He should end up neutral. And then we can get him up to quantification, uh, which is worth an awful lot more in terms of grade, and also reduced humanity so we can get more pineapples and less students and ultimately trigonomancy, um, yeah, which can do even better at that sort of thing. I really feel like these children do actually just go to class anyway. I feel like I'm being kind of a little bit um, harsh, breaking out the mind control lasers. Oi, no, no, that's right. You, you do not need to go to the bathroom. You just bloody hold it in until English is done. Now that you've got unfriend and over, can you unfriend some of these children so they stop sucking so much? Yes, there we are. And then hopefully we've got a success and a success, but still D+. Plus. Still D+, plus, but gaining XP. Oh, it's not just XP a day, it's XP per lesson. Okay, now, next. Who else needs to potentially have some flipping friends taken away from them? Everyone has to have friends taken away from them. You can also have some. Can I do it more than once? Let's actually find out whether I can do it more than once. Yes, I can do it as many times as I want, but it takes energy to do so. Now, what are the teachers' salaries before we kind of move forward? Because we kind of want to keep these teachers, because I feel like building them up so they learn better lessons is a good idea. Um, your salary is just 100 a day, and your salary is also 100 a day, but your energy's starting to go down. Oh, wait. You do two lessons a day. And because you're doing two lessons a day, that means you're burning through 20 energy, not 10. Ah, I see. So I actually need to pay these teachers more if I want them to actually do anything good. Darn. Okay, well, let's get this teacher. Let's give them a slight pay rise to mean they get that. Uh, but they're only going to get... They're going to get be up to 38. This way, this guy's going to be back to 38, which is fine. Uh, this guy, I feel like, might just suck, to be honest. It's kind of hard to see. Come on, come on, come on. I can't even get a click on him. There you go. Can I click on you in a second? Yes, there we are. This guy, I feel like, might just potentially suck. Screw it, fire him. I don't want to pay him for today. We're not paying him for today. We'll just get a new teacher and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Have I already fired the, um... Have I already fired the, uh, the principal? No, I haven't. Fire her quickly. Quickly. For God's sakes, don't pay her $2,000. But you see, this was all for something, which is we can now unlock the new, much better skill. He's got 3 XP. Which means we can now unlock the Iambic Cynic Doke, which is excellently good news. Now, how much does that actually... Uh, yeah, it's got the same success rate. So this is probably a good thing to do. Oh, I should probably bother um, hiring uh, teachers to teach my class, shouldn't I? Uh, yes, I should probably do that. Uh, bring in the person who's just got the highest level of energy, because we're about to slash her salary anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and we may as well bring in a... In offense, I'm not really seeing much advantage to the principal, so I'm just going to leave them aside. There's my new teacher. Now, your spell is going to be Memorizer. We may as well just see if you can do at least something good to these bloody bunch of idiots. And for the laser, a uh, negatory laser can just be used to swap out a thing, but that's fine. Again, we can just, just keep you on 20 energy a day just to keep you stable. Actually, we'll just have you very, very slowly going down, and we just won't use spells with that guy. We'll just see how he does, okay? He goes to class and hurry up because I've, I've hired you 10 minutes before the day began. It's fine. You look identical to the last teacher, so it won't be a problem. Now, this guy is going to kick some ass in his class. This person is going to be using advanced spells. There we are. No. No. Stop. Stop bumbling. Go to class. Bloody children. Why don't you, can't you just sit in your seats like the pineapples do? Okay, they've all made it to class in time, luckily. Just. Except, oi. Where the hell are you going? That was the wrong... Don't go to the toilet now, you 
stupid idiot. There you are. Get to class. Now, this is going to be extremely successful. He is doing advanced B minus. Oh, yes. But that costs him 15 energy to do. <sighs> Uh, and humanity is being lost. Humanity is being lost in here as well. I think we, the problem with this... Ah, this is why this class is doing better. More pineapples. That's the problem. It's more flipping pineapples. We just need to get way more pineapples in this class. Actually, what if we use you? We need um, 3 XP for pineapple ray. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce this guy's salary to nothing... And then we'll simply, we'll grind him up over the next couple of days to Pineapple Ray. And then we'll just completely use Pineapple Ray to burn that class into nothing but pineapples. And once the class is nothing but pineapples, it will get better grades, even with really crappy cheap teachers. Aha! As for my advanced teacher though, maybe what I ought to do is just kind of put him to, put him onto Memorizer or... Yeah, I'm going to put him onto Televisor, which apparently does nothing. So it doesn't make a change. So therefore, the grade should stay at B, right? Yeah, that should be fine. The grade will stay at B. Now, is this true? He's now going to do nothing but Televisor. Oh, the grade dropped to C-. minus. Uh, but the grade was B+, plus, which arguably... Oh, are you actually walking out during class? Oh my goodness, do not excuse children to go to the bathroom. And especially don't excuse them to just go and hang out in the hallway. The hell's the deal with you? Ah, and we've learned something good there. It's Friday today and teachers are going to recharge loads over the weekend because they get multiple days in a row to recharge. This guy here, his salary can be reduced massively and he'll still gain plus 24 energy, getting him up to max. So on. next week, we will kick a load of ass. All right, fine. Let's start him off on... Hang on, let's just pause here for a second. Let's start him off with a Memorizer spell, and we'll go into the Iambic Cynic Doke this afternoon. And Friday will be an extremely successful day. And this cannot be unlocked yet for whatever reason. Okay, but the laser, we could potentially uh, get a better laser here. The Unfriend Nova. He's going to get 24 energy over the weekend. So we can just get him a little bit more. Because I want him to use 90, 27. Because I might want him to use some of his skills here uh, during the course of the class. What? You, however, have 2 XP. But after this class, you'll be up to 3 XP. Which means then I can just change your power into flipping... Uh, yeah, then I can just change your power into Pineapple Ray. We will then use Pineapple Ray on every single student and we will try and get them to turn into pineapples as soon as possible. So children in this class, what is their humanity like? 76, 61. Who's a good candidate for being turned to 37? Okay, 64. So that guy at the end might be a really good candidate for being turned... Ah, you two. And how about you at the end there? 81. So these two at the back might be good candidates for becoming pineapples. Pineapples are good. So just speed up here. You at the front are going to... You're in the wrong bloody class. So we got a success and a success. Fine. So now the pineapple ray, which requires 12 energy to use. But that's fine. Your only job is to just use the pineapple ray. I wonder if you can use the pineapple ray repeatedly on the same children. If so, can we turn them into pineapples? Because that'll be useful. If so, I'm just going to burn this guy out now. And then we'll just um, then we'll just fire him at the end of the day. We'll just kind of use up all his energy doing this. Fine. Mr. Cass in English, however, your spell is now going to change over to the iambic cynic doke. And you're going to teach and get good grades. Very good grades. And then we'll get your energy way, way up, ready for next week, where you're going to do an amazing job. Oh, hang on. Okay, so the children do actually move around. They do actually get um one, then the other. Okay, so you are going to use your pineapple ray on that child, right? There you go. And that was very tiring. But now his humanity is down to 32. And now you're going to do it to the same child again. Perfect. And now the humanity is down to 16. Beautiful. This works just perfectly. What? C minus? You had... You just had a successful iambic cynic doke. And oh, because it's the idiot children. Oh, you're better at the morning class because the, the idiot children. Oh. 
Okay, so the class you get in the morning is, or rather, when you get the class with all the pineapples, then you can do really, really well. Fine. Well, let's just focus all our efforts for the moment, then, on flipping, making sure that this child, this one child, who's only got 16 humanity left, just keep on 23 energy. Oh, I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to get this child to turn into a pineapple, but I can get close. Yes, that child just became a pineapple. Yes. Okay. Excellent. We now have a new pineapple. Perfect. And pineapples are good. Okay, keep an eye on prisoner number 33241. We'll see if he performs better. Because previously he was getting flipping Fs across the board because he was a bloody child. But now he's a pineapple. I suspect things will be better. Speaking of which, now that you've turned everyone into a pineapple and you have zero energy, I think we're now going to fire you. Bye. Mr. Caster, meanwhile, can potentially learn a new laser. What's the good laser for him to learn? Well, he could learn the pineapple ray, but if he learns the pineapple ray, he just seems to kind of end up... Yeah, using up all his energy doing that. I'd rather bring in, uh, but then it might be worth him having the pineapple ray. No, let's just keep using the unfriended over. That seems like a pretty good one for a good teacher to have. And his spell, he just cannot learn the other spell. Fine. So we'll keep him and we'll get rid of the others and we'll just let him recharge. Uh, I need to paint just a little bit more to get all his energy up over the weekend. 140 and he'll get all his energy back. 160. Okay, yeah, that means he gets all his energy back. But we're only paying one teacher. So that's absolutely fine. And today we made a plus of $80. Beautiful. And now we have a good teacher and more pineapples. Okay. Now come on. I believe in you. You've got a pineapple. B minus. Oh, C minus. You did all right. Okay. Color me impressed. You actually did all right. So B minus over an English class. Good. Now the problem is the other class that's going to come in is the human class, which is not actually as good at all. Uh, but now, actually, C- minus into the human class is actually alright. This guy did okay. I'm impressed. Okay, one minute before the next class begins. And this time, our very good teacher has been given the class with the humans. And the question now remains is, if I give him, yeah, if I just pay him 200 a day and then get him to do a double cynic doke, then by the end of the week, I could potentially reduce his salary and actually the books might be balanced quite well. In fact, this is a grade C school right now. If he does a good job with these guys, yeah, okay, if he can just drag this school up to a B grade school, or I could just give up on these guys completely, pay him less, pay him only for 16, uh, 16, yeah, pay him for 16, change the spell to something like just put on the televisor, which would therefore mean... Actually, you know what? If we keep him doing this, yeah, his success is minus three humanity. And that means that if he succeeds and he's got a 95% chance of doing so, humanity's falling. He's actually impacting these people's ability as humans. Okay, now this is what we need to do, I think, actually. Yeah, pay him up to 23. That keeps his energy reasonably high. This guy can be paid almost nothing, but doesn't really need to be, to be honest. Because um, all we're doing is we're grinding up his skill ready to learn the pineapple ray. Because all I want is a school of pineapples. And he has a another success for B- minus and another success for C-. minus. Uh, average of C. Okay, end of the day. Good. And that means we're actually going to make a very modest profit today. But we're also making some good progress on the students. Their humanity is dropping rapidly. That one's at 27. Yeah, there was a 27 in there. 29. These students, some of them, will be pineapples very, very soon. And when they're pineapples, they shall sit tests and get grades. Good, 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 good. The pineapple plan continues. So Mr. Caston's going to keep doing a fantastic job teaching all of these pupils things. So you're going to be doing the exact same thing today. Uh, pineapple Ray as soon as we can, but until that point you're not going to do anything. So you're just going to be on Memorizer. We may as well see if, yeah, we may as well kind of... Memorizer is just like a good what? default thing to do. And then you, you're at 80 energy, so Iambic Cynic Doke is 100% success rate. You've got a good class of only four children and all the rest pineapples. So that should be absolutely fine. B minus and D plus. Oh no. Oh dear. Right. Dear oh dear. 
But on the plus side, this guy can learn Pineapple Ray, which is now his ability. His ability is Pineapple Ray for minus 10 humanity. And I would strongly suspect he might actually be able to get a couple of students in his class. Uh, humanity, so I don't even need to click into them, sorry, if you hover it tells you. Uh, humanity 25, 49, 28, ooh. We might be able to get two new pineapples right here. Perfect. How are you, how, actually, your goal in life is to get an A in English. But you're not going to get an A in English, are you? Because you're clearly bloody hopeless. Bloody hell, fine. Yes, all we're going to do is we're going to use Pineapple Ray on her at the back. Okay, Pineapple Ray. And she's actually moving on right now. She's down to 18, that's fine. Uh, can we keep using it even after it's after she's kind of already on the move or is it only during lessons? No, I think it's only allowed during lessons. Fine. D+, plus, but she is very, very close to turning into a pineapple. And in this class, his extremely good teaching standards will hopefully mean that uh, she does indeed become a pineapple very, very soon. After all, we've got to remember that a successful iambic synecdoche is minus three humanity on its own. So all these children are slowly being worn down. Ah, uh, yes, you at the back there. You, I think, are going to be turned into a pineapple. Aha! We've got ourselves a new pineapple. Perfect. One of our students has turned into a pineapple. Excellent. This will slowly push up grades. Now, the problem is this guy now has zero energy and won't be able to do anything. So, we're going to fire him. Lovely. And that means we should actually make a healthy profit today because we don't even need to pay the $80 to keep him around. Beautiful. And we're getting close to not being lower than when we bloody started. Excellent. Okay, everyone in their seats and slowly the balance of humans to pineapple is improving. Uh, you now want to... What does want to get an A in English actually mean? So, while in English class, I will try and get an A. So logically that means, well, how exactly are you going to succeed here? And if you succeed, you lose a ton of humanity. But if you fail, you actually gain some humanity. Ah, because you keep failing. Because you're not good enough. I see. And I'm guessing you want to do exactly the same thing. Hang on, let's just pause this here for a second. Uh, so uh, I want to get a new friend and she will ask a pineapple to be friends. And if we gain the friend trait, ooh, minus five grades. Dear, oh dear. And plus five humanity? No! Don't make my pineapples human. But none of these pineapples better have humanity. They have a t Oh, this one has a tiny amount of humanity. The hell, has someone been making friends with this pineapple? Yeah, that's why some of these students are... Their humanity staying up. They're staying up because they've got the quest, um, I want to get an A in English. Uh, but because they're not, they keep regaining humanity. I see. So your laser might theoretically need to be changed here. Your laser, which is end of friendship. Ooh, that might improve your grades full stop anyway. Yeah, hang on. What friendships do you have that are useless? Enemy of rejected by... Ah, this person might actually have some decent grades. Because they don't actually have much in the way of uh, friends. They don't have any friends. This person's a loner. Um, someone's ex, crush... Friends with minus three grades, so we can potentially just improve their grades only by getting rid of that. Uh, and again, these people who are in this class, which are doing well, as the most part, don't really have much in the way of anything. But let's get rid of their friends, actually. Let's do that. Can we do that immediately? Yes, there we are. Minus two, but we'll get rid of a friend. And class will, will begin in a moment. And... Success. B! B is good. B is excellently good news. Okay. Okay, we've got a problem, which is Mr. Caston got tired faster than I thought he would. Which means, unfortunately, uh, we do have the problem that he is now not being able to guarantee success with the Iambic Cynic Doke class. Which is a problem. What day are we on at the moment? It's Thursday. We've still got a couple of days till the flipping weekend. Oh, flip. This is going to be a problem. We need to get the scores of this school up, like, now. Uh, change spell. That's the best that you can... Oh, you could learn quantification as well. I could just make you better. Maybe if we just invested in actual double decent quality teachers, maybe that would work. Oh no, we're going to lose a lot of money today. Oh well, we've got the weekend soon. This is probably a terrible idea. I should probably not invest in teachers, but try investing in teachers. Okay, ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. Investing in teachers actually worked. The school's gone to a B minus standard. 
The school just went to a B minus standard, and if the school gets to a B minus standard, it's going to make like $1,250. Okay, a school having good grades gets a lot of money. Okay, I've learned a valuable lesson, which is I probably should have tried investing in my teachers before I tried brutally converting all of my students into fruits by breaking their spirits. I, I should have tried that first. Okay, on that basis, let's just get all of their flipping... Oh, and it's all my... It's Friday. Today, I can turn their flipping uh, salaries down because they'll get all their energy back over the weekend. You've still got 15 to go. So, yes, we'll kind of put you at $200 a day. That's absolutely fine. That'll get your energy right back up. And then uh, by next week, I don't need you to have that. I need to, to have just barely... Yes, this much is about right. Uh, 57. Okay, we are going to make a ton of money. Assuming... Assuming you idiots can actually pull this off. Come on, keep the school at B minus standard. That's all I want. B minus is great. Please, for the love of God, succeed, succeed, succeed. I believe in you. I don't believe in you, but I'm going to say I believe in you because that's the thing they say in sports movies before good things happen. No! No! You utter fools! We've just lost a big pile of money. They both failed. Okay, it's the following Monday, and that means we're fine. Because you know what? We can actually do this. You're both teaching good classes, all right? You're both teaching quantification and iambic cynic doke. It's going to be fine. You're going to do this. I believe in you. Pineapples, get in your seats. Okay, well-qualified, well-rested teachers on a Monday. I believe in you. You can do this. Come on, come on. Come on. And we've got a success and a success bringing us up to a B minus quality school. And because we've got success, this children's, ah, the children's humanity is going to start going down. Okay. Success, dating, failure, rejected. Okay. What does dating mean? Dating means, ah, oh, minus 10 grades. Bloody children. Okay. I think we've got enough pineapples to few enough children that if I can just hold this and get another double success, we are going to make a killing overnight, which is good because we've managed to, from the objective of make $1,000, we're, we're down $1,200. It's almost like educating children is not a particularly good profit-making venture or something. And we've got a success and a double success. <gasps> B minus in both classes. Oh my goodness, B minus in both classes. That's perfect. And that means, oh, we end the day with so much profit, with so much profit. Oh my goodness, go home, teachers, you are wonderful. Am I paying you guys enough to actually keep your energy high? You're gonna have plus 17 tomorrow. Um, let's keep you so that you actually, yeah, let's, let's actually get this guy back up to close to full. And you, apparently, you just don't need as much energy for whatever reason. Uh, we'll pay you a little bit more, get you back up to almost full, because this tactic is working. This is actually working. Oh my goodness, yes. Alternatively, I just lost because I took too long to do it. So that's no pineapple left behind. I am apparently terrible at educating pineapples. I actually, it's strangely enjoyable and I can't quite even explain why. So if you're into the slightly more kind of old school top down strategy games, it's actually quite, it's alright. I actually quite enjoyed it and I can't even quite fully explain why. There's something just quite satisfying about kind of watching the grades and the budget kind of shuffle around. Though clearly I've not quite got the right tactics yet because I've tried just straight up murdering everyone into pineapples and that was a bit too slow. Then I tried investing in a single group of teachers and kind of being loyal to my teachers and giving them, you know, good money to get make sure they were kind of full of energy and teaching the best classes and that seemed to run out of time too. So, clearly I'm missing a bit of a trick on the strategy. Can I just say I really like this music? And the pineapples and the slightly depressed looking teachers in the foreground. I just kind of really like this intro screen for some particular reason. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is no pineapple left behind. I believe this comes out today. Link in the description below if you are interested. But yes, interesting little strategy and kind of reminds me of the sort of games I used to play on my very, very, very old computer. I don't mean my last computer. I mean back in the flipping 90s when I had little strategy games on my first ever computer. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. So yes, maybe more of this sort of thing in the future, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been told this has been many a true nerd. This has been no pineapple left behind. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ignore the demon we just summoned. It can't fit over the bridge. Okay, yeah. it can fit over the bridge. Oh, look at that. Your pantaloons are very, very nice. Okay, I've got a good idea. I'm going to summon a second demon to fight this one. Oh, look at the lightning. 
I got quite drunk last night and I don't know where my Death Star is.